Hello friends, welcome in this session. Today I will let you know how to migrate our on-premise machines to the cloud. So there are several methods to migrate our machines. So, uh, today I will let you know about the import-export methods. Suppose that our VM's machine is running over a guest OS that is a window. So first from the VMware machines, we need to export the VM image on a VMDK format. After that, we need to upload that VMDK for over the cloud. On the cloud, we need to upload that VMDK image on a S3 bucket. So from that S3 bucket, we need to import that Amazon machine images. So to convert or to import from the S3 bucket to the IAM, we need to run a command from the CLI, CMD CLI. For that, we need to configure it AWS CLI first. So to configure AWS CLI, we need the secret key and access secret key. So to get the access key and secret access key, first we need, need to create user. user is of two types. First one is a programmatic. So we need a programmatic programmatic user creation in which we will get a secret key and access secret key. So that we need to create an IAM role and the role name should be VM import. And we need give the privileges, give the permissions as an administrative access. This is my VMware workstation on which we have installed multiple VMs for Ansible and it. I need to export, I want to export my workstation that is Ansible control node and I want to migrate that VMs on the cloud. So first I need to export it to VM OVA format and only the OVA format or OVA format and save it. So I have saved it on the AWS folder. Save it. Let me pause it till it will complete. Now the VM image has been exported. So it has been exported to the my Linux hyphen disk and there are other multiple files has been exported. File one MF my Linux. So I will check it through this. So it exported with my Linux hyphen disk one dot vmdk so let me come on my slide importing your vms into in this video i will show you how to export a linux vmware machine from vmware workstation and import it in the aws cloud i have created multiple steps first i need to download the aws cli then install it first i will do that so to download the aws cli we need to first search in the browser as aws cli installing the aws cli command at the last on the page install aws command line interface on microsoft windows so you can also do that on the linux host but my machine is the windows download the msi installer for windows 64 we'll download it here i will save it first to so downloading double click on it to execute that so run it and follow the steps i've already installed it will not follow the steps to follow the steps and then it will option to install it completely i follow these three steps install the aws command line interface on microsoft windows download the msi after downloading i will install it and third steps i need to configure the aws cli for to configure the aws cli it will ask you for, uh, for the secret key and access secret key key and secret access key so how to get the access keys and secret access key so for that we need to create a user and that user type should be a programmatic access so at the time of user creation it will give the option to download that access keys so the access keys credential information in aws cli when we will configure the aws cli on our terminal so we need Ask the access key and secret access. Finally, enter the AWS region that I want. So let me do it practically. Log on the console.aws.amazon.com. Come on the services. Click on the IAM. Click on the users. Add user. Your name test user. Click on programmatic. Next, provide the permission. Add existing permission policies. Like that will add the administrative access. Next, click on a review and then create user. Now it will provide me access key and secret access key ID. Let's download a that in a file. Let me save it. We need to configure the AWS CLI. So we need to use the AWS configure command. The access key, I have saved it in a notebook. Provide the secret access, provide the region in which you want to configure that. So my, I have to choose the Singapore region. So that's why I'm adding AP Southwest one by default. So enter. So now AWS CLI has been configured. I have configured the AWS CLI. Now it's time to check it, verify it. So run the following command to test the installation. At AWS CLI, we need to configure the security groups. We have only one security group. So it's a by default. So let me create it for another security groups. That's group ID has been generated. Now new group has been created now it's verified and it's worked now the aws cli has been successfully worked we have already exported our virtual machine images as i have saved here we have exported it in the starting of our video from here export to ovf to make sure before exporting the images your vm has been stopped down i have exported my vm with the name of my linux image in a vmdk format i have exported my vms now it's time to upload it on a cloud so uh, we need to log in on the cloud 
go to the S3 and inside the S3 we need to create a bucket. So I have created a bucket with name my tag hurts images where I have exported the images from my guest OS to the cloud. As I have already discussed here, I have exported my VMs in a VMDK format. Now it's time to upload it on a cloud, the S3. Come on the under the services, there is an S3 option in the storage. Now click on a create bucket. After creating you need to give a name but that name should be unique all of the global regions so in which region you want to create your bucket i have created in a singapore region i have already created that if you want to create it then click on a create but i have already created with that the same name so that's why it's saying that bucket name is already by you let's come in our bucket inside the bucket after creating a bucket you need to upload that vmdk image so for uploading that add the files and then click on a vmdk image and then open it and then click next it's ask for the permission next next and then click on upload so i have already uploaded that so here is my vmdk image i have created a bucket and inside that bucket i have uploaded my vmdk images image in the vmdk format it may be that you have exported it to the vcenter the vm vmware virtual tools so it may be in a vmdk format it may be in OVA format so there are multiple formats that the AWS will support at the time of migrations now I have uploaded the exported OVA or VMDK image for the three bucket but this is not a free service you need to pay something export an image you are charged the standard Amazon S3 rates for the bucket where the exported VMs. that means you have to pay something that uh, suppose that your VMs uh, v, uh, your VM image size was 100 GB you have uploaded on over the cloud on the S3 bucket, you need to pay 100 GB for the S3 services. It's time loading your session. Uh, we need to export the S3 image to the IAM. IAM. Sorry, it's uh, to the. It's not IAM. It's AMI. I need to make uh, convert it on the AMI. So to convert it on an AMI, we need to define IAM role. It's here the IAM. IAM user. We need to create an IAM user and IAM role. I have already created that IAM user that is used uh, to configure the AWS CLI. Now it's time to create the IAM role. Sign in your AWS account and select the IAM option. So to create the IAM role, come on the IAM services under security identity, comes under the role. So still inside the role, I have not created any role still now. Let's come under the slides. So if I want to create a role through the CMD, let's copy whole command under the our command lines just paste it so it will give me an error it's that trust uh, trust hyphen policy dot json file is not exist so first we need to create it uh, so to create that we need to write that particular code insert a file trust policy so i have already created that file i have already created that file inside that folder there is a file trust hyphen policy so inside that file there is a code so now if I run that command so it will exist you can create the role create the VM import role from that command if you don't want to create that role from a, from our CMD so let me refresh it first now it has been created VM role so if you don't want to create from the command line you can create a role from here you can choose any one of the services EC2 I have selected it here now click on that next permissions i have not attached any one policies or you can attach as an administrative access next click and review and name uh, you need to give the name as vm import i have already created with that name so let me vm import hyphen test just need to create click on a create role inside the vm create test you need to define some trust relationship so add a trust relationship so I have written all of the code inside inside the type trust.policy. So I have written that particular file here, all of the files. So I have created a VM import role. I don't need that. So you need to create a role with that name only. You cannot give any another name. You need to put only the VM import name. You need to create a role with that particular name only. After creating that role, let me attach a policy. Still, there is no policy attached with that. 
So I have attached administrative access there. Okay, now the policy has been attached administrative access. Now I have created a role and attached that policies. So I have created a role with VM import and assign administrative permission to it. So you can follow these also. So I have already done this part. So now it's time to move the image that I have uploaded on the S3 bucket. Move the that image or to convert that image to the AMI the Amazon machine images. So open the command prompt and follow that steps. First we need to create a file with the name of vicontainers.json and inside that file I need to write the whole code description with the name format use bucket and you need that bucket name I have my bucket name is my attackers hyphen images your bucket name should be different so you need to change it and here uh, this is the image name that I have copied it on a on S3 bucket so you need to replace that name with your machine name so first you need to create that file ls clear screens type containers.js and I have created that file already now after creating that file you need to run that particular commands so through that command you can import the image that is, has been already uploaded on the S3 bucket to the MI, Amazon machine images so I'm creating a machine image here paste it click on now it has been creating an AMI from the image that has been uploaded on the S3 bucket. So now what is doing here? Now I have up, uh, I have uploaded an image in our S3 bucket inside that uh, bucket name. So now uh, image AMI has been processed. So still I am checking an AMI. So still there is no AMI. The process is in pending. So to convert the image to the AMI first you need to create that file and then use that command if you don't create a file so you can you need to you need to run that particular command whole command if you want to check the status so you can check it from uh, through that command now our AMI has been creating so to check the status of importing your image by running the following command so remember to change the import ID so this is the import ID you need to change the import ID that is reflecting in your environment let me copy it first on the CLI CLS paste it oh sorry actually I have run the CLS command so that's why I have forgot my task ID so you need to replace your task ID here and then it will show you the processes so let's wait till the AMI creation has been come. Let me refresh it again once. Still no AMI. Now it has been created a snapshot first and through that snapshot now maybe AMI will be available coming soon. So before converting the image into the AMI, it will create a snapshot first. So it has been created a snapshot of 40 GB. Now in free tier, there is only 5 GB free. So I have to pay for 35 GB. Now as I have refreshed it, now our AMI has been created. Now create a virtual machines from that AMI. So now I am creating and launching an instance by using that AMI. Next. Now you can launch an instance in any one of the zones. Next storage. So by default the storage will be 40 GB now when we launch our instance because my vm image size was used was 40 gb so tags configure security groups you can create a new one or you can select from the existing one also so in that i have create uh, open a port 22 also for all of the worlds so now it shows an error message that your instance configuration is not eligible for the free uses tier so you need to pay something for the storage because you have 40 GB storage used and in free tier you have only 30 GB limit so in the free tier you have only t2.micro instance types but we need to pay for that instance also so I have launched use that particular key pair that I have already created
now I have login on the our instance so that is my Ansible VMware uh, Ansible machine Ansible control machine and that I have already created multiple playbooks students inside that playbooks there are uh, I have created multiple playbooks for that so let me check and open one playbook for that okay let me run web.yml so I have created multiple playbooks because this is my controller node Ansible controller node now I have successfully migrated over physical machines over the cloud so this is my cloud VMware machines and this is my IP and this is my private IP 172 so let me check with the sorry IP space A so this is a 172 31 23 142 140 thank you guys thanks for watching the videos I'm the AWS trainer and also the automation trainers so I will upload some new videos so please subscribe like and share my videos thank you guys for any doc related helps you can also refer my this one reference let me show you first where you will get whole documentations I will paste it in the video descriptions also so you can take it from there so I have created roles inside the roles I have created that test hyphen play policy.json file so there are all of the files here that is needed so there are all of the commands that I have used I have already used container.json so all of the things you will get from here so thank you guys thanks for watching my videos please like share and subscribe I will upload some new videos